I need to preface this by saying I've never watched the Dad's Army TV show. So I can't compare this. I know a lot of people are not the biggest fan of the 2016 film because they have a deep love and devotion to the TV show. And I completely understand that. There are shows that I love that have been adapted for film and the film's not, never been as good. I completely understand that. However, I didn't expect to find that this had only 5.2 out of 10 on IMDb, Metascore of 38, because I genuinely enjoyed it. It was directed by Oliver Parker, Parker written by Hamish McCall. It, it has a fantastic cast, which, which we'll look at soon. But the description from IMDb is as follows. The... Wilmington on Sea Home Guard Platoon deal with a visiting female journalist and a German spy as World War II draws its conclusion. Now, I love war films, but I specifically love war films that are injected with a bit of humour. This is a comedy, and I think it blends the war and the comedic aspect very, very well. Obviously, that's what Dad's Army is notorious for. It's why a lot of people love it. And I think the balance here is brilliant i feel like i understand the home guard a lot we have a great mix of men of different ages different backgrounds all who have been fighting and working towards the same aim and now we have this female journalist and a german spy coming in to mix things up the narrative is quite interesting but i'm not going to say it's the most gripping narrative that i've ever seen it's it's compelling it will keep you engaged but i was more interested in the in, in the comedy from the actors, in the characters themselves, the way they interacted with each other, I also loved the location, the setting, the costumes were fantastic. Absolutely loved the costumes. So while I did enjoy the narrative, I thought the progression was pretty good, the development was fine, the pacing was fine. I had no issues with the narrative, really. For me, it was all about the atmosphere and the fact that I felt like I was in this time period, which has its benefits and hindrances, I guess. But it's, it was all about the way it made me feel being enveloped in this time period. And it's a really good way to escape from today into the past. Um, costume design is by Diana Collins, FYI. I do think the costumes are what made this particularly thrilling for me. I, I thoroughly loved the costumes. And the cast as well. We had some brilliant performances that were really engaging. Cast includes, among others, Mark Tandy, Russell Bello, uh, Emily Attic, Michael Gambit and Bill Nye, Tom Courtney, I think. Um, no, <laughs> Tom Courtney is in it. And then my next thought was, I think it was Bill Nye that was one of the reasons why I initially wanted to watch this, why I was initially drawn to it, and then I heard some really good things about it, which is why I'm quite surprised that the review wasn't that great. One of my favourite people in this in all the world is Sarah Lancashire. I absolutely love her. I apologise if you can hear my computer having a meltdown. Um, Sarah Lancashire is one of my favourite people in all the world, and I love her. So that, for me, was a pull factor. We also have also have Alison Steadman and Catherine Zeta-Jones, Mark Gattis. The, the casting, you know, Ian Lavender, the casting is just ridiculous. It's really, really amazing. And if you haven't seen it and you think this is your kind of film, you think it's something that you might enjoy, if there's the potential, I definitely recommend it. If you're a fan of Dad's Army, by all means, I would say you should watch this. But just glancing over the reviews on IMDb, it looks like some Dad's Army fans are not the biggest fan of this. And I'm sure there are genuine, legitimate reasons for that that I understand. But if you've never seen Dad's Army and you like comedic war films, I think you'll thoroughly enjoy this. It didn't inspire me to go and watch Dad's Army, the TV show. But that's not the film's fault. It's just the fact that I wouldn't know where to start. Granted, I'd started episode one, but it seems like a big thing to get into. If you think it's worth watching, do let me know. But at the moment, I'm quite happy with Sarah Lancashire and Bill Nye in Dad's Army. I truly enjoyed it.